Hi everybody. Um, it's Kelly, obviously, soon you're watching my channel. I know I say that every time, but you know, obviously it's every time. Um, this is a little bit of a kind of a follow-up video on the journal that we just did in that three-part series. This will be a part four, but kind of like an, an add-on, not really any sort of tutorial type thing. But we're going to focus on embellishments. Okay, so this is the journal that we did on the first three parts. Um, we did the cover in part one. We did the signatures in part two. There's three signatures in this one. Say so we've got one, two, and three. And then part three, we started decorating, adding pockets and, and tabs and things like that. We didn't get too far into the decorating because, you know, decorating is, um, and how you want to uh, make your journal look, is an individual process. Um, you're not going to decorate yours to look like mine. I'm not going to decorate mine to look like yours because it's an individual thing. It's individual tastes and, and things like that. So I was going through um, kind of combining all of my spare boxes and bags that I had scattered throughout my craft area. You know, where you have a bunch of stuff you don't know what to do with, so you throw it in a bag and think you'll deal with it later. And then it sits there for three months and then you happen to have a few extra minutes and you say, oh, gee, let's figure out what was in this bag again. And you dump it out. And um, I did that with like three or four bags. So I found a whole bunch of stuff that I had started and not finished and things like that. And a lot of it, let's see, last weekend what I did was I had gone through my recycle box where I keep all of my um, packaging and things like that. You know, this is clothing tags. That's just a pretty tag, you know. Uh, something from Seven Gypsies. You know, just packaging. That you are perfect for tags and, and little trinkets and things like that. Okay. This was even from the Dollar Tree where I got my hair clippies from. But all of these. What I had done was I had taken my box of recycles, went through and got all, most, well, I got all of these out. Um, and I started working on a good, a good chunk of them. And so we'll leave some of the smaller ones out and we'll do the bigger ones at another time. But for decorating the journal, right, I had a bunch of scrap pieces in my scrap bag and I had a, my recycle box was overflowing and hadn't really done anything with it for a while, so I decided I'd go ahead and I'd start working on it. Uh, and I'll show you what I did with some of these uh, some of these tags. All right, so let's get these out of the way since we'll work on some of these, and just kind of show you how you don't, like I said before, you don't have to spend two hundred dollars on an ephemera pack or a hundred ephemera packs just to be able to decorate your your journal. I know. You had to do that now? <laughs> I know. He's still in school anyway. All right, so we'll set these aside for just a minute. And I'll show you what I did with the stack of what I already pulled out. Uh, for those of you who have watched my videos before, you know I keep a bag, a uh, little gift bag, with um, spare pieces of papers and napkins and like book page edges, things like that that uh, you tear out. And I use this bag mostly for um, clusters and embellishments and things like that. I've got spare pieces of napkin. Uh, printed uh, scrapbook paper, uh, die cut uh, items, newspaper items. Um, actually, this was a piece of newspaper from 1988 uh, publication from Canada. I've got pieces of um, papers that I embossed on to test out new embossing folders. You know, stuff like that. So that's uh, even maps, map pieces. 
and that's what I use in my embellishments. I couldn't find my bag of embellishments offhand, so I'll just have to show you how I make my clusters. Anyways, but I had a lot of uh, pieces of um, ephemera, not ephemera, recycled stuff. So I was pulling out pieces from my bag and just gluing them. Like this was the tab from a box of, I think it was a cake mix. Let's see, you can't see that very well, but I had some craft paper that had that printed on it. So I took a piece off and I just glued it to this side. Same with this one. This I had some jelly print paper that I just glued to it. And this was a piece of uh, mixed media mashup I did. I'll show you a few more. Uh, and what I did was same with this one. This was just a tab off of a box and I had some scrap paper. I threw that on. This one I used some newspaper and book paper off of a box of something. I had extra craft paper. This was off of a, the Sukaniko um, Dew Drops package that came with three little stamp pads in it. But I've had this forever. It's just been in my box. So on this, on the side that had the words and stuff on it is what I covered up. Same with this one. This was at the end of a, a Marie Callender's chicken pot pie box that I covered up. You know, so that's what I did. I was just covering up recycled stuff. Now, this was from a cracker box, right, that folded over. But I left this piece of the fold on. I didn't even cover it up because I figured what a great way if I was going to put this in a journal. Uh, where did it go? Okay, we might even put it in this one. Put it on the back page or something. And you've got that flap that you can glue down. And there you go. And it'll lift up. And you can put a pocket under there or anything you want. You can decorate the front of this. All I was trying to do was um, use what I had. You know, here's some bigger things that I'm not going to do today. We'll do some of the smaller ones as an example. Let me make sure. Yeah. And I even took leftover uh, envelope pieces that were decorated and put them on the back back some cardboard on it that I had as recycle. This was from a calendar. I liked the Bible verse. And I put it on some cardboard. Here's a Liz Claiborne's um, clothing tag. Probably use that. Let's see. I've got a couple more. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, like I said, I had scrap pieces of scrapbook paper that I just covered the side that had the wording on it and left the back. You see, you can even see the glue strip still on that one. That was a piece of a, a cardboard box, a Kleenex box actually. And this was a piece that had already had a die, a punch done on it. So instead of throwing this out, I just trimmed it so it would fit and it looks like, you know, I put the die, anyway, that's what I did with that. <laughs> and some more. And some of the words like that one says the better side on there. And then on this side, it says soul flowers. That was pretty cool. 
but that's how I used up some of my uh, recycle stuff out of my recycle bin. Now we'll set these aside. And one of the things that I was doing was going through and uh, collecting all my spare graphics and, you know, just loose stuff that you collect and you really don't know where to put it all. You know, I've got like foam, foam stickers. I've got some die cuts, some brads. Oh, you're not even seeing that. Some brads, uh, some punch outs, some flowers, some more tags. You know, just all kinds of, there's a little bit of bling. I didn't really know what to do with it all, so I just kind of threw it in one drawer. And now, since I got things started with these tags, I'm going to go ahead and decorate the others. Oh, wait, hold that thought for just one second. I remembered something I need to go grab. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This right here, this is a wire brush. Okay, it's not a really hard wire. It's kind of a softer wire, but it's still, it's jagged enough. Let me see. You can see that. Okay, now the reason I went and got one of these is I found out the hard way that when you glue something to a glossy surface, you know, something that has a coating on it, uh, unless you use like an E6000 or, you know, something like that, the whatever you glue to, it's going to peel off eventually. So I thought I had one. I didn't. I looked everywhere. I had to go to Harbor Freight. Got a six pack of these. All right. Different sizes, different kinds of wire, different bristles for $2.99. $2.99 for six of these wire brushes. Now, what I do with them now, and the reason I went and got them, is uh, I like the back of that, so I'm not going to cover that up. But there's a bunch of words on this side, you see, from where the packaging was and the price tag and that type of thing. So that's the side I'm going to glue to. But I want to rough it up. So I just take the wire brush and I just kind of scratch it over the surface and score that that glossy coating. Can you see? That is enough to let the glue stick, because that's what I like using on these, you know, to let the glue stick uh, and the glue grab hold. Let me see. I hope you don't fall. I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. All right. All right. But before we do, let's pull out some of our, our scraps and see what we got. I'll just pull out a handful. Not a whole bunch, because, you know, it'd be way too much. And we'll set these aside. And that's on some watercolor paper, but that's really pretty, and that's the perfect size. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. Now, remember, this is just, all this is, is packaging. So I'm recycling and it's stiff enough that it's going to, you know, it's going to hold pretty well. And I'll push that down. I'll take my scissors and trim it. And there, now I've got a really pretty piece of card that I can use as a tag, as a journal card, as whatever I need it to be. I can add to it. I can, you know, 
punch out if I need to. And let's see, here we go. Where's a Liz Claiborne? There's enough here to actually I kind of like the black outline. So let's trim that a little bit. What's it like on the other side? Oh, well, the other side we need to cover. So let's do it this way. Let's find a piece. No, I don't like that one. Okay, well, I kind of like that design, so I'm going to see if I can't pull this price tag off which worked really nicely. Throw that away. And I will take this paper and run it across the bottom. And see, you can use the packaging designs to help supplement whatever you want to put on. See, that design right there was already on it. So let's go ahead and, well, let's get it glued on there first. Let's do that. But because it's kind of soft, or smooth rather, I'm going to go ahead and scratch it up. And doing it this way, you, it also allows you to tailor your embellishments to exactly what you want. Instead of hoping to find something that might match what you're trying to do. There we go. So that's a little bit off. That's why the paper isn't straight. <laughs> okay. Let's see that side is, is done. Now that little piece right there where the glue from the price tag is, you can rub it right off. Or, see that's kind of pretty, that doesn't match. <sighs> that's kind of pretty. I'll just roll that right across there. Oh, I already had the cap off. I'm sitting there trying to pull the cap off of this. All right, so let's... And there we go. Then you've got a real pretty little tag that's already got the hole in it. Now if you want to do the back, well, we could do the back. We can even just use the same paper we used right here. Do it straight across the bottom, which this side is also smooth. I'm going to scratch it up a little bit. And you can use a nail file. You can use, you know, whatever you want, a little piece of sandpaper. You don't have to go out and buy any special brushes. I just did because it's a lot easier for me. And I got used to using the one I had, which disappeared, and I can't find it anymore. So, All 
right? Trim that. And we'll find another piece, which is right here. See, even these little pieces that you pull off the side of book pages, you know, sprayed book pages. Because a lot of people just want the words. They don't want the white space. But me, if it's got color on it, I love it. So I use it all. And there we go. And trim this side. Now you've got a tag on one side or the other. And you don't even have to do both sides if you don't want. I didn't with these. The only reason I did with this is because it had words on both sides. Now this one, same way. You can utilize it all. This one's got, you know, a hole in it because it had a little bubble wrap that had brads in it. Uh, somebody sent me this because I wouldn't have bought them. I haven't bought brads in uh, 12 years. Uh, just now getting through the last of what I did have from 12 years ago. <laughs> oh, let's see. You can even put a little design in here if you'd like. For example, let's see. Tuck that in. I could probably go dig out my uh, my hole punch, but or my circle punch, but I don't feel like it right now. Not when I can just put that in there. Alrighty. You know, and you can decorate the outside, do whatever you want. Right now, I don't really feel like messing with this one, so I'll put this here just so I know I already measured it. I'll set that one aside. I just want to do something simple. Okay, this one is still, it's white on both sides except a little bit of words down here. So you can actually leave it this way and just decorate it the way you want. All right, let's say I want to decorate one side. Okay. Oops. And I'm going to collage it. That's what I'm going to do, because I got little pieces here, you know, like little pieces I don't really want to throw out. So let's put that one down. And see, this one had pieces that were punched out. I don't want to get rid of that. I thought those are kind of cool looking. So let's put that right here. Uh, let's see, here's a piece. Oops. Put another piece down here. I kind of like this red, so let's just stick with the red for now. Find a piece that matches. Oh. Is there something? 
something else we can use in here. We got some blue paper. Let's try some blue. There we go. And yes, I'm covering up the hole, but it's okay. Excuse me. All I'm doing is collage in blue and red. That's one piece of pink in there. anymore. Yep, a little bit. So we'll throw some of that right across here. And you turn it over and trim it out and get your hole punch and repunch the hole. You can do both sides or leave it one-sided. And let that dry. All right, here's another one. Top is kind of womba so I'm gonna trim that. It's also smooth. I like that. Uh, graphic right there. Shoot. I don't know what I'm going to do with that because I really like that graphic. Where's the map? Okay, let's do that. I'm not going to scribble over them because I like that. I'm going to leave that graphic there. I don't know if I'll keep it this way or not, but for all intents and purposes right now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take map, a map piece and cover that up, those words up. Find another map piece. that. So that way kind of gives the illusion that they're getting ready to maybe go on their honeymoon. <laughs> and then here's another piece. We'll just throw this one down here. Okay, so, but you get the idea. 
you know, just packaging. I'm not going to go through all of these. All right. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and put the extra papers away and get some other stuff out. And if you've got a whole bunch of punches, you know, them itty bitty punches that got the little teddy bears and the hearts and, and things like that on it, you can punch out a whole bunch of those. And, uh, Actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave some of these out. Some of this I'm just going to put away. back in here. Okay, now what are we going to do with all of these that have been decorated? Like this one. This one's already got a hole in it. Let me go get my hole punch. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and got my hole punch. I'm going to repunch that hole. See right there? I've already got a tag. Already decorated. There's the back of it. I can cover the back if I'd like. I'm not going to this time. I'm going to cut a corner here and then flip it over backwards so I can cut the same corner on this side. Since it's kind of a hard cardboard, I don't want to try and fold it to get the corners even. So I'll just kind of do it this way. And it's not a perfect science, but you know, hey, it's close enough. See, close enough for government work, right? Alrighty. I'll put those over there. Now what are we going to do with this? Alright, we've got all these pieces and tags and things like that that we can do. Or what I had done was I grabbed uh, the top 10 or so uh, sets of stamps I had on, in my container. And that's what I came up with. So that's what I grabbed. I just reached in and grabbed the top section and pulled it out. So we've got flower stamps. We've got a fairy on a branch stamp. We got some more fairy stamps. I kind of like that one, but that's awfully big. Let's see. Uh, I've got Alice in Wonderland, some flowers. Ooh, I've got my dilution stamps I haven't used yet. Let's use one of these because I haven't used these yet. These might be fun. Alrighty. I'm going to use these. And I want to show you something. Look at the front of this. I love the outline on this. It's got the inked and, and painted look. Okay, focus. There we go. And the back is plain, so I wouldn't throw this out. I would keep that. 
All right, what color do we want? Let's use black. I didn't have any uh, stamp blocks, so when I went to the Creative Reuse when I was visiting um, a friend of mine, uh, they had these um, like beveled glass pieces and acrylic pieces, and I just grabbed a couple, figured they were perfect, because the only size I had for a stamp block was this size, a 2 by 2 I'm just, yeah, 2 by 2 and I needed something a little bigger to handle some of my bigger stamps. So let's put these out of the way. And see what we got. How do we want to do this? I kind of like the Harlequin one. Or the, the arrow. Should we do the arrow? Direction. This way, that way. Yeah, let's do the arrow. I like the arrow. Well, let's do the Harlequin arrow. I'll figure it out yet. Okay. Seeing that little piece? Perfect. And take the ink. Oops. Now this is the first time using this stamp, so before I actually put it on my project, I'm going to test it out. Ooh, that looks good. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Ooh, that looks really good. This one I'm going to just lay it right down. I don't have a stamp pad underneath it, you know, a little bitty foam thing that helps the stamp sink into the paper. Not this time around, so we'll see. Now that looks pretty cool. Right here it says round the bend. Here. Oops. Let's see. Look at that. Getting extra prints. Kind of like it, so I'm going to do it on this yellow one too. There we go. Perfect. Use some of this to get the excess off. This one up. There we go. And let's do a smaller one. Set this one aside. I can actually use my smaller block for this one. Brand new stamp, so I'm going to test it on something else first. Although this die pad ink is really, really nice. It's from Ranger. This one's called, um, let me see. It's from Ranger. It's just, it's a die ink pad called Raven. It's got really nice coverage.
Oh, now that came out really, really good. So, let's do it again. I'll put this one right here. Oh, that came out nice. Well, let's do the same with this one. Very nice, very nice. Let's pull the same one over and get off the excess. There we go. All right. I don't have any sentiment stamps except what comes in here. So this one is just, this is this way, that way. So that's what we're going to use. This way, that way. Just this way, and then you turn it right side up, they'll say that away. Okay. Get the excess ink off. Put this right there. See, this is before I scratched it all up. That's why this is coming off again. So I'm going to scratch that. And re-glue it. And there we go. So we've got two more that's got another layer of decoration on it. So you don't really feel like doing anything else and all you want to do is stamp. That sounds like that song from Don Henley, right? All she wants to do is dance. So let's get out. Let's do this. Let's pull out some of these that we already did before. And even this new one we just finished. We'll do that. Even that one. Now these are all, you know, um, what do you call it? Recycled pieces. Even the kind with the craft paper. And since we'll say I don't feel like doing anything else today, and all she wants to do is stamp. Now, I bet you're, you're humming that song now, aren't you? Uh, okay. You had to go through it in your head, figure out what was the name of that song again? All she wants to do is dance, dance, dance. Yep. Oh, and now you got it rolling around in your head, and it's going to be bugging you for the rest of the day. Okay, and this is just a tag we did the um, the other day when I was doing the journal. Okay, and then this is um, a piece I painted that was going to be the binding on a journal I was making for my dad, but then he changed his mind how he wanted it. So we'll put that there. And... Let's find one more piece that we can just kind of... Okay, now I just covered this whole thing. I'm going to cover the ribbon because I really don't want the stamp getting on the ribbon. Now, what can we do that will cover this whole thing? Let's see. How about 
don't want that. All right, I got this flower stamps, right? Let's do this one. Can you see which, what kind of stamp that is? It's almost like a Gerber, a Daisy. Now this, because it's just going to kind of be another background, I'm not, I'm not making sure, you know, everything is covered. So I'm just going to cover, just start stamping. See, that one didn't even come through all the way. This is probably where I should put something underneath it. Let me do that. I'll put this under here. Give us a little bit of kush. Kush. Yeah, kush. Dad says kush. Okay, that one picked up. And we'll go over here like this one. See, you can tell I'm really not, I'm not pushing the issue any. Oops, let's put that one that way. I'm just laying it down there. Alrighty, let's see. Right here and right here. Let's go like this. Let's try maybe right there. Not perfect. See, there's even spots missing. But again, that's okay. Let's see where we're going. Put you, I'll just put the whole thing on this one. <clears throat> Good thing that's beveled or I would have just cut the tip of my thumb off, huh? Mm. There. Get these out of the way. So you see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is actually, let me put this underneath here too, give it a little bit more cush. All I'm doing is giving them a little bit more depth, dimension, a couple more layers. And by no means does this mean they are finished. Not in the least bit. Okay, and I'm thinking the reason it's not popping up is because the center is not getting ink. Because I've done just about everything else to make it set, so we'll see. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay. Dad comes in the room, looks at me, says, shut up. Said, okay. And we're going to kind of just throw that right there. Yeah, I believe it's the stamp. 
that. Okay, let's try it this way then. We'll do it this way. Add ink. And then we'll just lay this one on top. And there we go. That's the whole stamp. So, yeah, it was the stamp. But in just those couple of minutes, I forgot one, but that's okay. Look at this. We've got some more dimension on a whole bunch of tags. A whole bunch of ephemera. And you know what's really cool is that even though the center of this one didn't come out all the way, you see that? Or even on these, all these others, we got some good, we got some good dimension on. So we'll set this aside for just a minute, and I will actually grab one of these smaller mini flowers. Let's see how big. All right, there we go. We'll do this one. Okay. And I will set that right in the center. Right in the center. center and it filled in that blank spot see how that came out could probably even do a smaller one there. Let's try and do it like that. There. All that took was two stamps and about five minutes of your time. And you got all of these stamped. even these two. So making your own ephemera, making your own decorations is not hard. These are some of the ones I did with my granddaughter on a video we did not too long ago. In fact, this is the one I believe I called the bloopers because we kept stopping it to pause and then we would come back and it would our, it would have been started. So it recorded all of our, our all of the things that we probably didn't really want to be on, you know, on live. But it recorded them and we just threw them all in there together anyway. But yeah, these were hers and mine. We did with more uh, recycled stuff, tags and things like that. And we used pieces of napkin, uh, punches, um, even fibers and stuff. Of these. This is just from recycled tags and see that was the back of a tag. That was a clothing tag. Just to make our own little goodies. 
even ink the edges. See this right here? That was, I don't even remember what this was for. This, I believe, it was a die. Okay. I don't remember what the die was. But I liked the design around the edges. So I didn't even bother cut it, covering it. I just used it as part of the design on the page. So, so let's see. We got those done. We got these. And I didn't even stamp on these. We just glued stuff. So let's say we want to give this a little bit more color. We'll go ahead and stamp. Ink the edges. Probably could ink the edges before I put the ribbon in, but I wasn't thinking, so no biggie. And even something as simple it's running a little bit of ink around the edges gives you a little bit more definition to the tag gives it a more finished look alright so we'll work on this one for a minute just because no I don't want that this is my drawer with all my other goodies got all kinds of stuff in here you know, it's got flowers and beads that I strung, seed beads, and just all kinds of things. Some more flowers. We got some faces. Some ribbon. Oh, that's a really pretty butterfly. Let's try and put that butterfly in there. I got some lace on here, so or in here. So let's pull some lace out. Oh, that was a, a cluster that somebody gave me. Isn't that pretty? Okay. A couple more clusters. All right. Well, actually, I'm not seeing, but that pink is really pretty, or the lime green underneath it is really pretty. So let's do that. Let's put a little bit of glue right there, and we'll throw that down. And we'll put the butterfly right on top of that. Ooh, that got hot. That's a little metal embellishment. Okay, and let's see. This isn't where I keep all my words or my sentiments or anything like that. I wonder if that would match. No, that wouldn't match. That wouldn't match. That would match. Okay, so we'll pull that out. Let's see. I haven't totally gone through and organized everything. I was just trying to get it all in one spot. Let's see. Nope, that won't match. That one says the world is full of possibilities. Try that one. Let's God grant me the serenity. Serenity prayer. Okay, here's some sentiments we can use. There's a heart. More butterflies. Oh, sorry, I'm not in frame, you guys. <sighs> Just going through some of these. Ooh, that's pretty. I'll probably use that. Alright, well, let's see what we got. What we pulled out already. Okay. This one, the world is full. I like that. The world is full.
go of and then possibility. We'll do that. I don't really like it being so yellow, so we'll take some brown, rich cocoa, and I'll kind of pull that out a little bit, kind of dull that down some. Whoops, didn't mean to dull it like that. Oops, probably use tweezers or something and get it really good, but and not get it all over my hands. But then that makes too much sense, and I've never been one that made sense. Amen. See, your dad, he agrees. My kids will tell you the same thing. All right, let's try this. That's a little better. Okay, so we'll go the world is full of possibility. see that. There it goes. And that is just what we did right off the bat. This one. Hmm. We can probably use... No. I like this. I like this tag, this ribbon. Let's see if we can get it in there. Too wide. So what I'm going to do, I'll probably regret this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Too wide, but I like this color. So I'm going to trim it right down the center. Cut it right in half. Don't forget the hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother. There you go. See? Dad's in there channeling, channeling his old brother, where art thou? Okay, so I made it a little bit thinner. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I like it this way or if I want it the other way. I believe I might want it the other way this time. Yeah, I do. I want it the other way. Usually I'll bring it in from the back. But I think I'm going to bring it through the front this time. And because I cut it in half, the fabric is going to fray, which is okay with me. I like that look. There. See how that's starting to fray? Come on. Up close. There we go. And I will put a little dot of blue right there. And we didn't even ink the outside of this one. So let's ink it. And I did it again. I put the ribbon in before I inked it, but I always ink it the last minute. That's the last thing I think of. And Some people don't 
but I do when it comes to the corners like right here I like to make sure there's a little bit of extra concentration of ink just in that one spot and I try to do that with most corners sometimes I don't get it looking the way I really want it to but you know hey you see the difference just a little bit down in the corners right here and then over here and then even in these little edges it's not a lot but it's enough and let's see say we still don't want to be done with this so you grab out your glitter glue and you don't have to have a whole lot like I said I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue in these circles right here. Just a little bit. And I'll put a couple right here. A couple right here. And maybe one, two, three down here. There. And that one's done. All from a piece of packaging. Where's the other one we started? This one? We're not going to make this a tag because this is going to be a flip up, right? But since we're here, let's go ahead and ink the edges. I'm going to ink the top part of this fold. Like I said, this came from a cracker box. Say so we don't want to be done. So let's look and see. Alrighty. I have this postcard stamp at, I believe it was Tuesday morning, so for $3.99. That's not bad. Usually they're about 12 or 15 bucks at Hobby Lobby. I'm trying to see if there's a, but this was a Stampendous one. And I don't want the postcard thing, so all I want is the wording. And then not very strong, just lightly. I'm going to put it across there. that gave it a little bit more oomph. See that? Say so we want to do that on this one. But we want to go sideways with it. Let's go sideways with it. Uh, let's do one of the ones that we did, I did with my granddaughter. sideways with it. See the difference it makes with just one little item. Let's see, sorry I didn't mean to kick the camera or hit the camera. Here's the tag. I didn't have the glue gun out last time to glue the, the thing here. So let's add a little bit of glue right here so this doesn't come loose. Oh, 
and I don't really like this here, so I'm going to pull this off. See that right there? Pull the piece that off. That's okay. I will grab another piece of paper and glue it down. You can't even tell. One little element can change the entire look. Like this one, we were just playing around with punches and the polka dots and stuff. So let's see what it looks like with some writing across it. Not too bad. I don't want writing on that one. I don't want writing on that one. Let's do writing on this one. This one's kind of plain. One stamp. It doesn't even matter if it all makes it on or if it's in spots because all it is is another element on a piece of something that you would have thrown away anyway. a couple different times. And what's cool about the writing is that even though it's in French and it comes from a, a postcard stamp, see this? It can still be tailored to pretty much any design you want. Oh, I think this one would look really good with. Was it? No, here it is. This one. That's the one I wanted. The only thing I don't like about these these uh, close to my heart. I think that's what these are. Um, Ranger dye or ink pads these is because the ink pad part is so thin you see that let's see let's do this one straight across the top hmm There we go. 
So this is just an example of some of the things you can do with recycled packaging. And you don't have to throw anything away and you don't have to spend a whole lot of money. But on that note, I'm going to let it go, let you go, guys. Um, it's been a little over an hour. Uh, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and then click the little bell next to it so you get an idea of whenever I upload another video. Uh, I'm working on my 1,000 subby giveaway, so please subscribe if you haven't. Share my channel um, and give me a comment in the bottom. Tell me what you think. And on that note, I will let you guys go and God bless you and have a wonderful evening. Bye.